Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I am continuing my If I Were A series. If you guys are not familiar what my If I Were A series is all about, make sure you watch the very first video where I not only explain, but turn into my very own Tim Burton character. But in this video, I am going to be doing If I Were A Harry Potter character. Having sold more than 500 million copies worldwide, Harry Potter is the best-selling book series in history. The first novel in the series, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, has sold in excess of 120 million copies, making it one of the best-selling books of all time. The novel chronicles the life of a young wizard, Harry Potter, and his friends Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley, all of whom are students at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. The main story arc concerns Harry's struggle against Lord Voldemort, a dark wizard who intends to become immortal, overthrow the wizard governing body known as the Ministry of Magic, and subjugate all wizards and muggles. I'm going to show you guys how I created this character, and I'm going to add a mini trailer and also a storyline to my character that I made up in my head. And I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think, and if you guys want to add on to the story, make sure you comment that down below as well. But let's go ahead and start doing the makeup. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Desio Attitude Romantic Blue contact lenses, but only on one eye. I thought about this and I feel like I want my character to have water-based powers. And so I figured what's a good like signature to have to kind of represent that. And I figured maybe one blue eye would look cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and see what that looks like. And yeah, we'll go from there. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's super cool. I was hoping it would be a little bit lighter but I'm not mad about that like slight color difference. I think that looks cool too. So let's go ahead and start with the makeup. All right, so I'm grabbing the Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette because the majority of my face will look quite natural. I don't want to necessarily go all fantasy and crazy colored because um, they're children. So I would be going against the school dress code and the age limit dress code as well. Um, but I wanna do kind of like, uh, like a snowy, not snowy, but like a lighter, like almost a blonde look on this side, and then a normal look on this side. I just realized that Grindelwald has one light eye. Ooh, maybe I could be his secret daughter. <gasps> Is that a cool... Oh, maybe? Okay, I don't know, I don't know. Let's just keep going. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna grab just a normal brown shade, and I'm gonna contour my, my eye crease just to do like a very natural look on this side. Next, I am taking probably this just regular white tone and putting that on the eyelid. I know this eye look looks a little bit boring, but the fun part is gonna be on this side, so stay with me here. I'm just trying to make sure I don't stray too far away from JK Rowling's style um, and the like character designs of the live movie. So yeah, I'm trying to keep that in mind as I do the look, but I'm gonna go as far as I can within her realm of sense. So I think we're done with the with the eyeshadows. So let's go ahead and put on some eyeliner. Uh, let's do a brown eyeliner. Cool, I think that's plenty. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna be using the IT Cosmetics Brow Power. And I'm gonna do a little bit of a thick brow, not too thick, but just a little bit to look youthful. All right. I think there should be plenty. Now I'm not gonna do this to the other eyebrow because I want to do a pale blonde eyebrow. So I think I'm gonna grab um, whiter foundation to make it look like it's been whited out. All right, that looks insane. All right, I'm gonna see if I can put this all white eyeshadow onto the lid. See what that makes makes it look like. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of experimenting on the side because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to 
bring my concept to life here, but I'm gonna start off with this. I'm adding a little bit of concealer on my lashes, just to make it a little white, but not too white. Um, I just wanna look blonde. So I'm gonna make them look a little blonde. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of highlight to the inner corner and the brow bone, because I'm trying my best to give dimension to this eye without actually like compromising the snowy-ish color. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of a light brown eyeshadow to contour the crease. And I'm gonna add some highlight to the lid to really bring it out. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Roosevelt um, Cream Blush. Cream Blush looks so great for a very natural look, very natural finish. So I'm gonna add that to my nose bridge, under my eyes, and probably a little bit on my chin. Yes. All right. I don't know if this is a good concept, but I'm thinking to do regular freckles on this side and white freckles on the other side and like it transitioning over. Is that a good idea? I don't know, but let's try it out. Um, now for the lips, I'm debating on putting on a lipstick, um, or nothing at all. I might put maybe a little bit for like some color, but not too much where it looks like I'm wearing makeup. So let's see what we can do. Ooh, that was too much. That was too much. Let me... <laughs> Wow, I'm ruining it already. No, let me figure this out. Hold on. That looks a little better. Okay, so I think this is as far as I'm gonna go. I think this is the limit for me um, because my character is not gonna be a villain. I don't imagine my character being a villain, so I can't do anything like deformed or like extra special effects. Um, but I am also a kid, so I can't wear a lot of makeup, but I think this is really good And I think once I do the hair and the outfit, I think it's gonna look awesome And I'm definitely gonna look like I stepped out of Hogwarts. So I'm gonna go ahead and put out an outfit. That's kind of like Feminine but like scholarly. I feel like she would be a feminine character. So Let's see what I got in my closet. If someone could draw this look as like a cartoon, I would die so if you do tag me on instagram at jbunzy because i would love to see what this would look like in like maybe like a harry potter style illustration but yeah here's the finished look Jean Volchanoff, a new Gryffindor at Hogwarts, is welcomed by the familiar face hermione after being the victim of crab and goyle's mischievous pranks hermione takes Jean under her wing and teaches her the ins and outs of Hogwarts bonding them into best friends and unbreakable sidekicks, making Jean a new addition to the friend group. Jean discovers her strength is in water-based magic. As Ron and Hermione grow closer in the midst of battle, Harry Potter confesses his true love for Jean, but just one problem. Draco Malfoy is after her too, and all Jean wants is to not lose Hermione. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this version of If I Were A. If you guys want me to do any more uh, franchise characters or uh, movie or TV show realms, uh, comment down below in the description box what you want that to be next. And make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next video.